Wake up, it's 6 a.m. already. You've got a video call with sponsors at 6.30. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, the sponsors. Uh, thanks, Stella. Coming. You jump up from the bed and rush to the master bedroom. You brush your teeth and do your hair at the same time while scrolling the news feed on the TV screen with your eyes. Latest tech, cool. But you're used to it already. Breakfast served and you gulp it down without chewing. No time for that. Once you're done, you zoom to the main hall and clap for the big screen to turn on. And here they are, the new sponsors. You talk for 45 minutes sharp because then you have a meeting arranged in another part of town. You discuss the business and run off to the parking lot where your driver and the team are already waiting impatiently. In another 15 minutes, you're at the place, and your video partners for today drag you to the shooting grounds as soon as your car door opens. Hey squad, what's cooking? Today I've got a special guest for you. An hour later, you get back into the car and clap the driver on the shoulder. There are three more places to visit before lunch. You sign a contract with another brand, then take a look at your new studio and have interviews with four potential team members. It's 12 p.m. Now, time to wolf down some salad and orange juice and head on to... Oh no, not again. Hey, yeah, that's me. Oh, of course, selfies, yay. Lunchtime's over and you throw a quick resentful glance at the half-finished salad. Time to go. Without taking off your broad smile, you wave to your fans and hop into the car to their hooting. On the way to the next meeting, you get a text from your manager. Bought tickets to Argentina for tonight, shooting tomorrow noon. Great, at least there'll be some time to sleep on the plane. The flight's at 9, so you hurry to get the rest of your business done before 7. You meet with five more people, negotiate and sign deals with them, and at 7.30, you're finally at the airport. You head on straight to the VIP lounge without raising your head. Luckily, no one recognizes you. Falling down into a soft armchair, you see your travel manager approaching. She hands you the roadmap for approval. You quickly go through it and nod, giving it back. Whatever, they know what to do. You close your eyes, but then your phone starts ringing. Your agent tells you one of the partners was taken to a hospital, so you need to rework your schedule. He sends a draft and an email, and you approve it without looking. Finally, you're on a plane. You deliberately turn off Wi-Fi and go to sleep. In three hours, you're in Argentina. Just outside the airport, your travel team meets you with a car and takes you to the Brazilian border, to the Iguazu Falls. It's late at night when you reach the hotel, and you fall onto the bed exhausted. In the morning, you barely manage to finish your breakfast when your travel manager appears, tapping her finger on her wristwatch. You sigh and briskly walk to the car. Showtime! You are strapped with a parachute, action camera on your head, and the crowd behind you chanting. Three, two, one, go! You push with your legs as hard as you can and jump from the top of the waterfall, screaming. Oh, heck, the parachute won't open. Open, open! Oh, phew, finally. That was scary, but awesome. You send the video to your team back home, and in the evening, you watch your subs growing even more. 210 million now. Wow. You finally have some respite and scroll the feed. Your name's on there. They say you're in a hidden relationship again. Ha! As if you could hide anything so huge. Then, a message from Stella. Flight to Boston morning, meeting with fans at 3 p.m. Well, time to sleep then. During the flight, you answer all the emails you've missed, and as soon as you land, a car whooshes you down to the concert hall. Hundreds of thousands of people have come to see you, and you go to the stage at once. Then an autograph sesh and the usual selfie sesh as well. Your right hand and lips are numb from all the writing and smiling. Your voice is hoarse from talking, but you only manage to get to your hotel room at 11 p.m. You fall onto the bed exhausted. A message from Stella, meeting with partners at 9 a.m. You leave Boston a week later, but not headed for home. You're flying to Canada. From there, they'll take you to the north the most point of the country, but while still in Toronto, you go live on YouTube to talk with your subs. After an hour, you're on your way to a private airport. Four hours in the air, and you disembark in Alert Airport, just 500 miles shy of the North Pole. A man in a dog sled greets you and points at the second sled. Yours. You turn on the camera and nudge the dogs to go. They take you into the icy desert outside of town in freezing cold. Suddenly, a snowstorm begins and you lose sight of the second driver. You shout but can't hear any reply and the dogs go on running. You don't know how long they run, but at some point you hear a loud crack beneath you and the sled drops down. You roll to safety and see the sled's half sunk under the ice and stuck. You've got frostbite and it takes you a few days to recover, but the video is epic. 50 million views in an hour. Every evening, you get messages from Stella. You okay? When you finally tell her yes, she sends one more. Good. Flight home tomorrow, 2 p.m. Get some rest. And a smiley face. Next month has the same hectic schedule. Contracts here, shootings there, interviews in some other place, and parties, parties, parties. You vaguely remember when once you dressed up as a half-shark, half-giraffe, and plunged into a swimming pool from a 20-foot-tall plank. And all the more spiteful comments spitting poison at you. A whole team is writing scripts for your videos, carefully avoiding any hot topics, and still there are thousands of people throwing rotten tomatoes at you. Eh, whatever. 
It's your mom's birthday today, and you take a day off to visit her. As soon as you walk out of your house, a gang of teenagers surrounds you and asks you for selfies. You oblige, seeing no other way out. An hour's drive, and you're at your parents' house. Something's seriously wrong. A crowd of cheering people meets you at the driveway. They must have found out the address and went to overtake you. You rush through them without stopping, leaving them to your security guards. You slam the door behind you. Anger's boiling inside you as you listen to the chanting and shouting from outside and look at your parents' confused faces. They were going to have a barbecue, but now it's impossible. You take them out the back door and you all hop into a taxi to take you out of town. When you come back home in the evening, another crowd's at your gates. You drive past with your windows pulled up and make a decision. You go inside with your jaw square, not paying attention to your agent and Stella hailing you. You rush into the dressing room, shutting and bolting the door from inside. You turn on the lights and look into the mirror. Then, you take a hair trimmer and shave your silly hair, leaving yourself bald. Stella's knocking on the door, calling for you, but you just take your phone and call your tattoo artist. In a few hours, you go out of the dressing room and call Stella. She's shocked by your new looks, but listens to your instructions obediently. You go to the video room, and the whole team's there already. They start shooting. Hey squad, this is the new me, whether you like it or not. I'm not gonna lie, I'm sick and tired of pretending. And this is the first day of the rest of my vlog's life.